my question is about the second law of thermodynamics. Yes. Uh, the way I understand it from the book is we are running out of usable energy. Yes. And based on that, the universe has a be had a beginning. Yeah. Uh, I was, well, I was, that's one reason. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I was discussing this with a friend of mine, and, and he said, wait a minute, uh, we are running out of usable energy because we are using this energy. So the conclusion should be human beings had a beginning, not the entire universe. No, when we say the second law of thermodynamics, we're talking about all the energy in the universe, universe, including the sun. Look, if the sun was eternal, and the second law of thermodynamics was in place from the beginning, then the sun would have burned out a long time ago, right? I know that's kind of contradictory to say that, but you get the idea. It's like your cell phone, right? If, if you turned your cell phone on an infinitely long time ago, would there be any juice left in it right now? No, I just turned mine on 37 minutes ago and it's already dead, okay? <laughs> so there's only so much juice in a battery and you can think of the universe as having a battery. And the longer that battery is being used, the less and less juice it'll have. Well, if that battery has been on forever, if the universe has been on forever today, we'd have no energy at all. We'd be at complete heat death. And this is not controversial. All scientists admit that if the universe continues, ultimately it's going to go to heat death. We're going to run out of usable energy. Well, if we're going to run out of usable energy, it means we only have a finite amount of energy. And if the universe was eternal, we'd have run out of usable energy a long time ago. But since we're not out of energy now, the universe must have had a beginning. Just like you must have turned your cell phone on a finite long, or a finite period of time ago, recently, if you still have juice now, right? That's kind of the, the same point. All right, thank you.